Sweet Afton 23 an unassuming YouTube handle, but perhaps something more. Just who is Sweet Afton? It's Molly. Molly Lewis. But who is Molly Lewis? Where did she come from? Here. Here, she came from here. But where did she really come from? Like, spiritually or whatever. Let's find out together. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Molly Lewis. Molly Lewis, or Lewis to her friends, has been writing and performing for an amount of time. That much is clear. Let's hear now as some of her friends and random people we accosted outside the Taco Bell recall their first encounters with the force of nature that is Lewis. So you want to hear stories about Molly Lewis? I can tell you stories about Molly Lewis. Soon. I've never told this to anyone. Uh, Molly, you might be a little angry that I tell people this. Um, Molly is a little older than she appears. Uh, I first met Molly, I was um, in Target. And you have to understand, I do volunteer work for a senior citizen outreach program. And every month or so, I go and buy diapers for seniors who can't afford them. And I was in the diaper aisle at Target. And uh, this, this adorable girl came up. And she also had a large cart uh, filled with diapers. And uh, clean, of course. Uh, same ones I was getting. Very soon. Uh, and she said, these are actually, they're, they're for me. Um, and so I was very surprised. Uh, it was only a few months later that I saw the video of her doing the Jonathan Colton song, um, Sweet Afton, uh, 23. And uh, until now, I've kept that secret. Um, but you're busted, Molly. Uh, but it's okay. You deserve all the success that is going to come to you. And... Uh, it's also good that you age backwards. What most people don't think about with an artist who's been in the industry as long as Molly is how diverse her repertoire is. Uh, I mean, let's go back to where she started. You know, the late 60s in Louisiana, studying Zydeco music under the greats Buzu Chavez and Leroy Thomas. In fact, although he's not considered a Zydeco artist himself, Dr. John's only true Zydeco song was actually written about Molly. Uke Lady from Lake Pontchartrain in 1969. The things I could tell you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, what really soured Molly on the whole Zydeco lifestyle is that it's a very dangerous lifestyle. A lot of fast living, a lot of mind-altering spicy foods. And, in fact, I think it was the death of Bucktooth Joy Chapultulis from an etouffee overdose in 1970 that made her realize she had to get out of there. 